This is Alex the Beer Master. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be reviewing um, Hazy Glare IPA from New Belgium. And it is a Voodoo Ranger. That's what it looks like. Let's see. With the skull and all that. Alright. Let's pour this up so it smells like, tastes like all those wonderful things. Let's pour this up. Well, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> like a hazy, golden, kind of dark color, light color, like a yellowish color. Um, three finger head. And you can smell those hops. Uh, let's see what it uh, smells like. Okay. It does smell citrusy. It does smell like a, uh, a strong beer. It does smell like a West Coasty kind of sweet IPA to me. It, it, and it smells really like dank. Like basically, it smells really dank, which I like. Um, we're gonna see if it's really good or not. We're gonna see what happens. Yeah, that does smell a little bit of dank, a little bit of sweetness. Mm. Let's get into it. Let's see what it tastes like, shall we? Cheers. Not, I mean, not too bad at all. That just that that does not taste bad at all. Um, going to Scott, uh, uh, yeah, you know, um, yeah. Uh, going to Scott, he um, this was a stronger uh, flavor, but uh, me, uh, it's not that strong yet. It has a nice mouthfeel to it, like a little bit of like a light, fluffy mouthfeel to me. I mean, don't get me wrong. New Belgian can do better. But <clears throat> this does have good flavor in a sense. It does have a little bit of drying effect to it, too. Yeah, it does have that, what I smell, what I smell, and what I'm tasting is the same thing. That's what I want. I don't like that when you're smelling it, and it doesn't taste the same as you smell it. I don't like that. Mm. That is really nice. It's not that bad. It's not that strong. Uh, again, some people have said this is strong, uh, not you know, a stronger flavor. Uh, uh, he didn't really wasn't crazy about this. I like it. Uh, would I get it again? Maybe just to enjoy, but probably not. It does have that nice juicy citrus, sweet. Delicious flavor, but there is better beers out there. Um, it does have a great flavor. I do like it. 
Does it get a 90? No, but it should, but it doesn't. It doesn't need to. I feel that um, it's average. It's a good beer. It does have great flavor. It does have great flavor. But it, it all depends on my what I'm in the mood for and what flavor I like. I do like this flavor, but it all depends on what it is that causes me to give it a 90 or 100. I tell facts. I tell you how it is. If you don't like it, that's fine. It does have a nice flavor back background while I'm talking though. I like that. It's not that bad. It does have a nice warming effect to it in the throat. Yeah, it's a lot of hoppiness. I will tell you this. Um, I do like a lot of hoppy beers. It also has a nice little hop burn to it in the back. Like I had, I felt a little warminess, but I also now I'm feeling a little hop burn in the back. I like that. That's kind of good. It's not too hop burn. It's not too much hop burn to it to me. It's not that bad. Uh, I do like a little bit of hop burn, but then it all depends on what mood I'm in with these beers. Um, but Again, as the saying goes, it's not all about me as well liking it. It's also about if you're going to like it. Uh, if you like this beer, if you like these kind of beers, you would like it. Uh, it might be a little bit more hoppy for you. It might be a little bit too hot burn for you. It might be a little bit too, uh, you know, strong for you. I don't know. I like these kind of strong beers, uh, even if they're not always the best. Um, man, good, good flavor in the throat, though. Mm. That's really nice. Um, it is nice. Again, I don't really buy this stuff. I do occasionally. I mean, but most of my stuff on my channel, yeah, you'll see these beers on my channel to review, but most of the time, no. I just, because I'm not looking for that, I'm looking for other beers, like 10, 11% beers, uh, even though this might be a 9%. Eight nine percent. I don't know, but either way, um, it's just a nice beer to what it is. Um, I would um, tell you the truth. I I would um, that I like the flavor. Like I said, I'm for for this kind of style. At least if you like this kind of style, uh, or this kind of flavor, or these kind of beers, this series. It's a, a Voodoo Ranger series. Uh, if you like this kind of series, uh, please do. I mean, I highly recommend it if you like this kind of stuff, uh, if you like it. Um, but if you don't, uh, <laughs> then don't get it. Um, but because of, it's a, it does have a good, I think back in the day, their, their beers were better, at least when they had the other stuff. Uh, but it is what it is. People, you know, things change. I, for the style, I would give this beer a good flavor since it has a great flavor, great mouthfeel. Um, it's not that bad, but I'm trying to see what that other flavor has that I got. It's kind of like a like a sweet buttery mouthfeel, but it's not. It, it, I think it might be supposed to be that. I'm, I'm not sure, but. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I mean, I might get this again, but probably not. Someone gave it to me. One of my friends gave it to me, I told you. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a 90. If you can get new Belgian uh, hazy uh, glare uh, IPA from Voodoo Ranger, I highly recommend it on people that like these kind of beers from this brewery. It's good. It's a 90. Good. Not my, uh, like I said, I like these kind of beers, like I said. But I would probably get this again just to enjoy. I don't know. Again, I, I say this over and over again. I have other beers to try. So if this is, if I, if I see a pack, I'll get it just to drink. I already reviewed it, so I'm good. So if you can get it, please do. I mean, stay tuned for many, beer, many more beer reviews, many more food reviews whenever I decide to do the food reviews again. Uh, but stay tuned for more beer reviews and all those wonderful things. So, yeah. 
Um, this is Alex Beer Master. We will see you all next live stream, next video. This is Alex Beer Master signing out. Cheers, everybody.